Hey, what up everyone? I'm Cindy Cool, and this is Gems of War. And today I'm going to be going over the spoilers for the upcoming week of June 20th, 2022. So this will be for all platforms. I'll do Switch after we do everybody else. I'll put a timestamp, and we'll talk about uh, what the upcoming week has in store for us. Uh, what kingdom it's going to be, what event keys we'll have in them, what weapons will be in the Soul Forge, any new troops, what events are coming up and everything. So yeah, let's get started here. First though, I want to say, shout out to uh, U7. U7 used the super thanks heart because he loves me, and he gave me $10. Thank you so much, Tim. Appreciate that, man. Shout out to you, brother. And uh, also, another thing, here in the background, I'm going to show you my deep battles in the world event and in the raid event. And I'm just using my crappy no 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 team in the raid event, by the way. But here's my team for the world event in the background. Super deep. Maybe not super duper deep, but like as far as you're doing your share towards the end of the week. And this is like the last couple battles you need to do to do your share type of stuff. And I just want to show you that because, you know, just because somebody makes their team first, they helicopter out of bed to make a video at the break of dawn at reset, doesn't mean that they have the best video. Those people just getting them out early and are less experienced and you never know. So... You know, so just saying, uh, here's my team. It's working great. Um, sometimes I do lose my hero, but I summon in a white and everything's fine. And yeah, let's go. All right, spoilers. Weekly event spoilers, PC, mobile, Xbox, PlayStation. Just because you're first don't mean you're best. Um, usually those people need to watch other people to get ideas anyway. Monday, June 20th, 2022. We have world event... Name is Draconic Divination. Metal of Shadows, 160% spell damage for all troops in the current event. Um, okay, so... Alright, it's a Dragon's Claw week. We're getting a new troop called Sabilis, or Sabilis, or something like that. Dragon Rogue. Uh, Dragon's Claw, world event, spell damage. Uh, Guild Wars next week, so I have a video where I go over all my Guild Wars teams. I did pretty good last time. I think I only lost one battle, maybe two at the most, the whole week. And I should be, you know, a Herald or something like that. I went up a little bit, I think, or at least, at least held my ground as like a pretty, you know, it's like top 10 in my guild, in my top 20 guild. Um, Faction on Tuesday is Worm Run. Pet Rescue Wednesday is Whelp. Uh, class event Thursday is Dragon Guard, a Firestorm class with Fire Blade. Um, I think Holy Armor, too. Um, and then Friday we have Bounty. I feel like we just had Bounty, didn't we? Like, why are we having Bounty again? Hellcrag. Okay. Hmm. Are we getting, like, a, a update next week, maybe? I see Hellcrag there. Hmm. But we're having a journey on July 18th for Hellcrag, so... I don't know, y'all. It says Bounty. I feel like we just had Bounty. We had Fora Fawn. Remember that? So sometimes they get the Friday events wrong. It does say Invasion as well here. So I'm going to guess it's an Invasion instead of... Uh, usually Invasion does follow raids. So I'm going to say Invasion for Broken Spire, Stone Biter, Giant. But it does say on Terran's World on the spoilers that we're supposed to have a Bounty this Friday, which doesn't make sense for Hellcrag. So Hellcrag must be coming soon. I think somebody said, like, July. Yeah, July 18th. That makes sense. Uh, so to reiterate, World Event, Spell, Metal, Damage, Guild Wars, Faction Assault, Worm Run, Pet Rescue, Whelp, Dragon's Claw, Class Event, Dragon Guard, and Friday, Invasions for Broken Spire, possibly Bounty for Hellcrag, but I doubt it. Unless this new troop... We'll see when we do the new troops, maybe. All right, so Dragon's Claw, what can we get from Event Keys? What kind of weapons will be in the Soul Forge? That's all we can tell. We can't tell what Mythics are going to be in the Soul Forge or anything. That's RNG out of a pool. And once all the Mythics are out of the pool, then it starts over. So um, I've explained that before on my How to Get Mythics video, if you want to check that out. All right, so let's check out the troops here. We've got Davinia. Davinia is one of the best dragons in the game. It's a legendary troop. Wouldn't be too hard to get with the vent keys. Um, Egg Thief, if you need Egg Thief for your gold farming team. Ella McGrim is the Mythic. A pretty fun dragon that's loopy with purple. Ascensia is your 50% start for dragons, so that's notable. Ishtara is a decent yellow looping dragon. 
uh, Dragon God. Um, Shatara's pretty good. Probably top 20, top 25. But not top 10. The Dragon Soul, Tiamata. So yeah, if you've been saving your event keys for something like Tiamata, for example, since it was a, I think, campaign type of troop, or it was introduced a different kind of way or something. I remember I just got it in my um, opening 20,000 gem key video. I don't mean to keep plugging my videos. They're just uh, topical. Um, but yeah, so uh, Ascensia, um, Davinia, Elamagram, Ishtara, Tiamata, stuff like that is what you can get from your event key. So pretty packed full of decent stuff. Like if you get a mythic, you're going to get one that's at least decent. And if you only get legendaries, you'll get the Dragon Soul, Davinia, stuff like that. So not terrible. And then you'll probably get Essentia, Egg Thief, um, and stuff like that if you don't get a legendary or a mythic. So not a terrible event key. All right, weapons. We have Doomed Focus, Dragon Fire, Dragon Tails, Dragon Eye, Dragon's Talon, Egg Explosion, Imperial Jewel, Lance of Divinity, Mace of Claws, Mystery Egg, Prey Seeker, Torque of the Dragon, Volcanic Shield. The one that sticks out to me there is Mace of Claws. It's a good weapon for an all-dragon team. Yeah, it's only 300 diamonds, so why not grab it if you're going to make a dragon team? If you like dragons, you should definitely have Mace of Claws. But yeah, that is Dragon's Claw. So the main thing that stuck out to me there was Ishtara, uh, Davinia, and Mace of Claws, really. Okay, so troop spoilers, PC Mobile, Xbox, PlayStation. By the way, my live stream tomorrow, it may or may not be in the morning. It could be at night time. So it'll happen on Sunday. I'll let y'all know on Discord and on the Community tab. So if you're not on my Discord, um, check out the Community tab for the channel. And I'll let you know. We're either going to do it at the same time as always, or we'll do it at, at night, at like 9 or 10 or something. You might get an extra Gems of War After Dark this, this month, because old wifey's working all of a sudden tomorrow in the morning. Alright, on Monday, June 20th, 2022, from Dragon's Claw, we got Sabilis in Darkest Day and Blackest Night. Arcane Skull, Base Rarity Epic, Troop Type Dragon Rogue, Troop Roll Mage. It's a dragon that looks exactly like, like, Sylphrostanath or something, except for it's black and green. Spell is Acid Blast. Eliminate all armor from the first enemy, then deal 0 0.75 damage to all enemies. It's not boosted or anything? Okay, what? that's weird. What's 0 0.75 damage? Uh, that might be a typo there. Maybe it meant 75 damage? That'd be sweet. But it is only an epic, so I don't know. That's weird. Eliminate all armor from the first enemy, period. Then deal 0 0.75 damage to all enemies. That does not make any sense at all. Mana color, purple, brown. Mana cost 14. Trait number 1, greedy. Um, trait number 2, huge. And trait number 3, stealthy. So, hey, it eliminates all armor from the first enemy, then it deals damage to all enemies. I don't know how much damage. Maybe 0.75 your magic? That would make a little bit more sense. So something like, um, you know, 30, 40 damage. Mon uh, also on Monday, uh, oh no, that's the only new troop. So it does not say anything about a new troop from the Hellcrag as a bounty troop. So I think that's also a typo. Um, so a couple typos here in Terran's World today. Weapon spoilers. Friday, June 24th. We are getting from Stormheim. The Crown of Horns. Rarity Legendary. Weapon Type Mace. Weapon Roll Generator. Um, mana Color Red Brown. Mana Cost 14. The spell is Explode. Magic Plus 1 Blue Gems. Grant a random status effect to all giant allies. Then summon a giant troop. It has Vital. Gain 4 life. Raging Enrage Myself. Striking. Deal 5 damage to the first enemy and stunned. Stun the first enemy. So that is that for the new weapons. That's going to come in through the invasion. Just have to buy up to it in the shop. Um, I'm going to click Kingdom Spoilers because Hellcrag, the new kingdom, is coming July 18th. Pet Spoilers, PC Mobile, Xbox, PlayStation. Monday, June 20th, 2022, from Mist of Scales, we have Mini Dusa, the Hellcrag Monument Campaign. Pet color brown, cosmetic effect. It looks kind of like... um. Marilith, but uh, tiny. Or the new mythic, but tiny. 
Uh, that's coming from the campaign on the paid side, so if you're free to play like me, you're not going to get that pet for quite a while. Uh, Max Kingdom Power, PC Mobile, Xbox, PlayStation. On the 20th of June, uh, Dragon's Claw, Kingdom Power goes to 25. That's it. So, hey, what a... Uh, not, not bad. Um... Let's see, so Dragon's Claw Week, Tiamata, Ishtara, Davinia, Asensia, Egg Thief, Mace of Claws. That's what that means. Um, we have Guild Wars and the World Event, so it's going to be a busy week, and then Invasions on the weekend. Uh, the class is Dragon Guard, which is not great. It's like the middle of the road for Firestorm classes that have Fire Blade. It goes Sun Spear, then Slayer. Then, then something else, like Dragon Guard or Hero Fant or whatever. Um, yeah, and other than that, that's about it. That's all that's going on. Guild Wars, World Event, Spell Damage Metal, uh, Invasions on the Weekend, Tiamata, Ishtara, Mace of Claws, Divinia, Egg Thief, Asensia. So, yeah. Like, share, subscribe, consider joining. Helps a lot. Tell your good about the channel, comment below. Subscribe, y'all. We need 50 five more subscribers so if you want to help the channel get to 6k and you want to you can help make me shut up about it like i don't want to talk about subscribers let's get it so i can just not even say it until we're close to 7,000, which will be quite a while I, it'll be a while so don't worry it'll be like at least 10 months or something so i'll shut up for like nine months if you just get me to 6k whatever you gotta do go uh have your grandma make an account i don't care your dog but yeah, let's get on to the Switch spoilers. Timestamp 1148 or so. Um, bye to all the PC, Mobile, Xbox, PlayStation people. Love you so much. All right, Nintendo Switchers. Let's go over your stuff. Weekly event spoilers, Nintendo Switch. All this stuff should be on the channel. You just have to seek it out. If you've been doing that over and over and over, I'm sure you'll see a pattern as to where how far behind you are and like you can figure out the dates and stuff and you should be able to find my videos easier and easier every time you look them up for your for your stuff so it should get easier and easier the more you look it up on my channel you'll get an idea of how long ago i did this stuff and then you'll just remember and you'll just go to that period in time on the channel all right on monday june 20th 2022 you guys also have guild wars so i might i'm gonna link my guild wars video at the end of this video so y'all can just click on it and get your Guild Wars teams ready. Um, but yeah, you got uh, Guild Wars. You got World Event on Monday. It's called the Amethyst Light. 160% spell damage for all troops in the current event. Moshu the Guardian. Shin Tang. You're having a Shin Tang week. That means Yao Gui, the best legendary in the freaking game. So we'll go over those troops you can get with the vent keys and the uh, weapons that'll be in the Soul Forge because it's Shintang week next week. Um, Faction Assault, Lazara's Lair, Pet Rescue, uh, Lucky Ox. Class event Thursday is Monk, potentially an S tier class, S minus, A plus in my opinion. Go check out my class uh, tier list video if you want to see where I ranked it on an actual tier list. Um, class event monk, yeah, um, vault event. Y'all have a vault event this weekend. I have literally seen people like my friend Dejan on the Discord, who is a newer player. He went really hard in the vault event following my exact advice, and he came out of that vault event with crazy stuff. Lots of gems, lots of gold. I think he got Zulgoth and Dawnbringer, and so just do check out my channel, check out my vault event videos, and... Follow the advice, and you can maybe get Zulgoth too. You can get Dawnbringer too, and Rage Kurandara. You can get enough gold to get into a better guild or something. Like, just I'm just trying to help. I'm never get anything out of this other than you watching the video, I guess. So, but yeah, Vault Event, that's cool. All right, so let's check out this Shin Tang. Let's see what kind of troops you can get with the Vent Keys, and what kind of weapons will be in the Soul Forge. All right, as far as troops go. Emperor Liang is okay. Um, Huang Long is going to be one of your mythics. Moon Rabbit's there if you don't have Moon Rabbit for your um, Divine Ishbala Keelan Rope Dart team. Um, Keelan is there too, so you can get Keelan and Moon Rabbit for that team. Um, then we have Tian Yi, Tulieo, 
and Yao Gui. Yao Gui is the main prize from the event keys for Shin Tang. Um, I don't really like Huang Long, and but Keelan is also really good in Moon Rabbit. So if you're going to throw event keys, you're going for Yao Gui, Keelan, and Moon Rabbit. Weapons. Bot Jam Dao, Blade of Justice. Cobaltine Wan, Doomed Librum, Festival Staff, Hammer of Shintang, Hook Sword, Light Staff, Sky Hero, Spiked Maranaki, Staff of Insanity, and Sunbolt Javelin. Um, Doomed Librum if you really want to, you know, if you're a top-end player in Bracket 1, or just to grab it for later. Um, Cobaltine Wan is also kind of good, and I think either Sky Hero or Hook Sword, one of those two are okay. But yeah. Doomed Leverum and Cobalt Wand. But Yao Gui, Keelan, Moon Rabbit. Make sure to grab that stuff. Yao Gui hits so hard, he's almost a mythic. Okay, so. Weapon spoilers for. Whoops. We gotta do troop spoilers, huh? Troop spoilers for Switch. Y'all are getting Mo Shu the Guardian on Monday, June 20th from Shin Tang. Dishonor on you. Arcane Plains, Base Rarity Epic, Troop Type Elf Knight, Troop Roll Generator. The spell is Arcane Sight. Enchant a random ally. Create one to three purple pa uh, mana potions. If an if any enemy is cursed, there's a 50% chance to gain an extra turn. Mana color yellow purple, mana cost 16. Trait number one, Cursed Touch. Trait number two, Sky Ancestry. Trait number three, Magic Heart. So its traits aren't great, and I don't use those potion creating troops like that very often but ever so occasionally in a really restricted event you might use them they can put some potions on the board you can then blow up those potions and make a bunch of whatever color and maybe try to hit that 50 percent chance to get an extra turn too but do not use moshu the guardian 99 percent of the time here in the future uh weapon spoilers i'm like your marty mcfly nintendo switch on Friday, July 11th. So that's way too far away for your next weapon. Class spoilers. It's not going to tell me. Even though they should have an idea by now when you're getting the Nexus. Like, why can't they tell me that? Umbral Nexus is your next uh, faction. So whenever your next faction is, that's when you're getting the Nexus. So now you have a better idea. So whenever your last new faction was, if you can figure out when the last one before that was, that's how much time it's going to be between... The last new faction and the nexus so you can kind of figure out when the nexus is going to be if you really want to just go to your last new faction that came out on the weekend and then see how much time was between that one and the one before that one right however many weeks that was and then go from your newest faction on the weekend whatever that was if it was a week ago two weeks ago three weeks ago and then from that point in time however many weeks you found out was between the two new factions that's probably about how long until you get the nexus i know it sounds convoluted but you could figure it out or at least get close on wednesday june 22nd 2022 from shintang you guys are getting lucky ox as your new pet lunar new year 2021 um it's a little cow guy he's yeah, he's pink and white pet color yellow effect cosmetic um, your max kingdom power for Switch. We have on the 20th, Shintang kingdom power goes to 17. But yeah, that's it for Nintendo Switch. Y'all also have Guild Wars and also have a world event. Um, so good luck with that. We got the same thing. So we'll all be doing Guild Wars next week. So at least you'll have some topical videos, hopefully. Um, you got the Vault event, most importantly. You're going to have a really, 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 really busy week. That's as busy as it can freaking get, honestly. You got a World event, you got Guild Wars, and you got a Vault event. What are they What are they doing to y'all? Um, make sure you get Yao Gui if possible. And um, I think that's about it for y'all. Uh, Monk's a really good class. Um, yeah, so go find my videos, and you'll have advice on what to do. And I would appreciate it you watching those old videos so uh yeah that's it for today like share subscribe consider joining it helps a lot tell your good about the channel comment below subscribe dear lord let's get to 6k so i can shut my trap all right y'all the best peace out